Welcome back, everybody, to TV Sports 27, the Southern Miss Golden Eagles and the McNeese State Cowboys set to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Coach Shaquille O'Neal, coach of the Southern Miss Golden Eagles, 2-4 and four to begin his collegiate career. McNeese State just 1-9, and nine. so all things considered, you would think it should be easy victory for Southern Miss here. However, there's only one extra win for Southern Miss than there is for McNeese State, so that may not be the case. Try not to look forward, but coming up, big games on the horizon. We got Auburn coming in next, and then we hit the road to FSU after that. So a lot of big stuff on the horizon for this squad. Good look at the lineups here. And now I'm actually prepared to get the tip. Oh my God, it's impossible. <laughs> it's crazy impossible. Here we go, McNeese State, Southern Miss. A main event anywhere on YouTube. This to get the people to tune in here with numbers. One and nine versus two and four. And we're all ready. Oh, we got an injury. I thought we had a foul call, but I think it's the first time we've seen an injury called in all these many games here. Don't go watch the last. Oh, go watch it. It'll give me a view. It'll help out. But we got blown out against the Bradley Braves last time out. So we really got to get it together here. The big issue, besides shooting, which we're continuing to have that issue here, but the big issue was rebounds. Oh, my God. Is this really going to go this way again? This is crazy. Are we, could Coach Shaq get fired after one year? This is, this is starting off slowly for two. Come on. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, where's the team that whooped up Alabama State? It is six nothing for a squad that's one and nine. Exactly. Keep the D guessing as to where it's I'm sorry guys, this is terrible. Dumps it down low. Shoots the turnaround. It falls short. He tried to sneak it in. Alright, we gotta we gotta slow this thing down. We gotta get this thing together right now. Inside out. Locate the open man on the perimeter. Fanning. Has it outside. Style passes to the right. Oh my god. Oh why? <laughs> oh my god, this team. I thought I picked the best out of the four teams. This team's terrible. It is eight nothing against the one and nine team. Carlson inbounds the ball. Really, that almost went out of bounds. Oh, what is happening right now? 10 nothing, McNeese State. There we go. They started out 10. They scored more points in two minutes than they've had losses all year. Jacked it up from three. That one actually almost went in. Maybe Coach Shaq, maybe we should just go run and shoot. Just go up and down the court. Try to get as many possessions as we can. I don't know why shooting's gotten so bad all of a sudden. Again. Am I like am I hitting at the wrong point or I feel like I'm hitting right when they're at the like release point maybe too late or too early Coach Shaq's got to get these guys under control though cuz I mean I was at Troy University as a student when Isaiah Thomas was coach of Florida International so famous Basketball coaches or players becoming coaches might not always work out. And for Coach Shaq, that might be a reality right now as it's a back to a 10-point game here for Southern Miss. How are we missing these? There's Coach Shaq right there on the right. Okay. Like, right under the bucket, and they're just, like, straight up missing these. Another miss. 
And it's a 10-point game. Two points for the Golden Eagles of Southern Miss. Outside. Dumps it to the middle. Rose behind the arc. Off target. He's got a lot of heart to be out in the court with that injury. You've got to Butler gets through and will get a bonus shot. <sighs> Break the drought a little bit. It might be a long time before you guys see March Madness in this game. <laughs> it's going to take a lot to qualify to qualify for March Madness. Holy moly. Hopefully we're doing okay in recruiting. I'm kind of just letting the, the computer... I mean, I've done a little bit of recruiting off camera, but for the most part, I'm kind of letting the computer try to grab some of the names. So here we are. Let's keep this going. 7 to 12. Kind of, kind of fight our way into it a little bit here. Backs down. Moban lets it go. No good. Road. We, we got to do better. There we go. Let's say quick and beat with the rebounds. He almost stopped. Like just keep going to the bucket. All right, back within three. Let's go, Golden Eagles. Let's go. Morbin getting pushed by Butler. Lawrence, Lawrence someone get on him. Okay, and maybe whatever hype that McNeese had at the very beginning of this game, they're starting to lose it. Oh, the, our big guys in the paint, and that's that's going to be the most frustrating for Shaq because he's one of the greatest big men in the paint. They are not doing their job. But here come the Southern Miss Golden Eagles back within one. A timeout called on the floor. And we are back within one. I, whew, I was worried. I, at least in the early going, I was very worried we had another blowout on our hands. But we have fought back in. We have quieted the hype. Got them settled down. Oh, that was that was a nice three to get them back into this battle here. Stolen away, not a great pass. They're trying to go really quick for another three. Now we're starting to come away with our rebounds. No good for Franklin. Oh, Shaq, Coach Shaq on the court right now. Oh my God. That's like the second time that Coach Shaq has walked out onto the court. He continues to have flashback to his playing days. Oh my goodness, this might be a, a, a situation. I don't know, an incident here. NCAA fines, it's, it's gonna be bad for Coach Shaq. 18-13, Cowboys and Golden Eagles. How do you say that, Brimpong? They got some wild, wild names in this game. He makes rebounding look easy. And believe me, it's not Under five minutes left in the half. I don't know if I'm just passing terribly or if I need to wait for people to be way more wide open, but it's like definitely. Oh boy. Well, they get it back within 10. McNeese. On rebound, nice. That was a nice shot. Oh, I'm surprised he almost didn't get called for an over the back there. The way he was, he was reaching in, but twenty-four, fifteen, four twenty to go. Oh. Okay, so now, now our big problem in this game is on re is on a. Uh, not rebounds, but, but toss-ins here. We keep losing the ball. We keep dropping it. Franklin. With the miss from three. Nine-point game. So here we go again where McNeese playing really, really fast at the line. And... Kind of forcing, trying to force the ball loose. Three, nope. 
So our threes aren't dropping right now. And Pong down the court. Wide open. Puts it up. Puts it in. 28-15. Cowboys. Boy, and I wanted to pass the ball. We had a wide open bucket. No one's running under the bucket. Nice three from Butler. I'm ashamed that this is a 10-point game right now. Alright, next season we're definitely going to schedule Alabama State again. <laughs> no, Franklin gets contested. Is in a pretty cold stretch right now, Vern. And there's a danger that whole team's got a cold, cold stretch. You could hear a pin drop here, Vern. These fans are really sitting on their hands. Carlson. The pace is going really fast right now. McNeese mean, State, just the way they're playing, the way they're forcing things. Like, as soon as you inbound, you got guys right in their face. They're kind of forcing this up tempo. Shoots the three. Yeah, we got to be in the 30% right now for field goal percentage. Lead pass, perimeter. From from <laughs> this is a 1 in 9 team that we're playing, folks. And that's exactly what you want to do. 1 in 9. 2 minutes, the Golden Eagles down big. I mean, they're coming in on a one game winning streak, so they they got they're they're excited. Franklin. Sizing up his man. Terrible. This is terrible. 37-18. I defense isn't even doing their part. If you one thing, you can say, okay, I'm not shooting the ball well. But like even on defense, it's just like, you know, like, <laughs> like how are you missing these shots that are right there? Seventeen point game against a one and nine squad at home. And they're just sinking them. They're just sinking everything. Oh, God, there's less than a minute left. Oof. <laughs> well, we're going to keep trying. We're going to push through, you know? You can't always win every game there's plenty of other series out there if you want to see me be a dominant college coach go watch my utah utes football series but this is uh quit what the okay take it take it what the hell is he doing oh my god Whew. okay that was a first half for sure it is 39-22. It's going terribly. Uh, if you like really bad basketball and you want to help support the channel, there you go, TV Sports 27. We're on Twitch. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitter, Patreon, Streamlabs, Kofi. We're everywhere. Support us. <laughs> help us out. Um, also, uh, these fine folks are supporting TV Sports 27. So thank you guys so much. Appreciate all of you. 33% percentage that we're shooting. Solid 50%. We got we got the band on the field. We got cheerleaders on the court. It is chaos right now. And the fans are upset. Shaq came on the court once. I understand that he's already got a, got a warning from the NCAA. It's, a old, it's an old uh, Roy Wood Jr. joke, if you guys... No, or don't know that one. I mean, just a simple layup would be nice. 
obviously happy there on the driver's seat and was pleased with the Oh my god, they keep really fumbling the ball. And a foul. On all week and they gave such a great effort on both ends of the court, offensively creating second chance opportunities, defensively okay. making sure the other team didn't get them. Thank you, Bonnie. Again, to be fair, this is not Coach Shaq's recruits, so, you know, we don't have the transfer portal in 2007. But maybe, maybe the front office staff has realized, like, okay, you got to give Shaq a chance. You got to give the, the name coach to call some guys up. Oh, my God. In by Bram Paul. This young fella has some touch. Nice turnaround. High post. Bounces it to the right. Stiles. They're very pressy. Passes very pressy, this team. Stikes. Fires. Foxler yanks it down inside. Last shot. I think 50 and 32 got to be two of the worst big men <laughs> I've ever seen in basketball. Just not getting shots to fall. Carlson. No good. What did it say? We were like 3 of 13 for three-point shots. And they're just hitting everything. Like with ease. That's something else. No wonder we're still talking about it. Who are they playing? Who did they like schedule Tennessee and Florida and Arizona and stuff? For them to be one and nine? Gets it on the perimeter. Fanning swings it to the outside. Deflected, but it's tracked down by Southern Miss. Perimeter dishes it to the outside. The tray off the mark by Styles. Southern Miss has struggled with their three-point shooting, and Bonnie has a report from their bench. Oh, boy. 47-24. How are we doing decent in the first couple of games that we played, and then these last three games have been all complete blowouts? Alabama just, like, broke this team. Styles. Uh, just denied. Denied. And then our def like, why does our defense not do like what they just did? Oh, that was supposed to be a layup, and he just took a shot. I guess I wasn't close enough for a layup. All right, hold on. <laughs> this is getting out of this is getting out of hand right now. Where's the layup button? It's it's just hold and do an X, right? Shoot, hop, step. Aggressive. I guess I can try to call some plays. What difficulty are we on too? I'm not gonna change it. We're committed, but I mean we're at we're at fifty percent everybody. Ooh, anyway. Yep, resume. The Golden Eagles will try to put a stop to this run. Dumps it off. Oh, they're not trying very hard. Let's it go. <laughs> this is I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's bad. The steal by Fanning. I kind of want to be fired. This three-game stretch has been terrible. Dumps it to the paint. I, I literally hit the X button three times and he didn't take a shot. I'm gonna like do that right into the microphone. I hit X so many times. Oh my God, we're playing a one and nine team. And we have Auburn and Florida State next. This is not how the beginning of the year went. 
and he just drops it. Look at that takeaway. Great instincts there. He waited until the ball was exposed. This is like if everything could go wrong, it will go wrong. Oh my god. 58-24. What uh, I mean the press conference that coach Shaq would be giving would be crazy. Should we try to call? Look look at this. <laughs> This team is insane. His assistance about the other team's points off turnovers, and he wasn't real happy with the answer. Coach's response, not really fit for public consumption. This is absolutely insane. Thanks, Bonnie. Restrepo hands it off. From about 19 feet, Moban gets the rebound. A rare. Like, why can't we do that? None of our guys drive to the paint like that. They have almost 40 points on us. I'm just going to let the rest of the game commentate. <laughs> I mean, like, this, what's happening? Looking to continue their run. Restrepo shoots. Boxler cleans Pass. the board. About six Pass. Left in the second half. Pass. Gets it outside. Pass inside. Passes it to the left Pass side. inside. Down low. Pass outside. Pass outside. Drop. Boxler he can't shoot. From deep. Oh my god. Jeez Louise. We have 26 points on a 1 in 9 team. This is going to be a new record. I, I've posted games before with the Diamondbacks and and things where I said this is the worst game in my streaming history. This this one I think just beat it. Losing to a 1 in 9 team, having 26 points is the new worst game in my streaming career. And most of all the points that we have had have been on fast breaks like that. Oh, we're going to get the ball here. Let's go. Looks like his face is red, either from anger or from the ball hitting him in the face. McNeese State bringing in all the subs right now. Is it, oh, wait a minute. They don't. We don't get the ball? I guess it did touch us last, huh? No. I was hopeful. Here we go. Oh, big man's got no speed. Okay, 33-point lead. We got the backups in. We can make a rally out of this, right? Can we make a 33-point rally? It's only going to get worse here. I don't know if uh, this might tank the channel. People might stop tuning in. We got Auburn and Florida State next, and if we're losing by 33 points to a 1-9 team... Holy moly. But Florida State's got like a million injured players. Come on, get a rebound, fellas. 35-point lead for McNeese State. Shaq's not doing a good job getting the fans. We'll see if Auburn can get the fans in the house here. This is it to the left. Waters has it on the elbow. Oh. Shot not there. Look at the D converge on the shot down low. Don't you love to see that kind of energy? Errant last shot by Rhodes. The Golden Eagles have got a lot of ground to make up. Franklin, the reverse. Hammer. And he will go to the line. Come on, boys. Try to get into it. Come on. Knocks down the first one. The fellas. The Southern Miss men. You know, men, they're playing like <laughs> they're playing like Pee Wee players right now. <laughs> oh my god. 65 32. They're gonna hit 70. This is wild. What the defense gave him, and he I thought we were going to get a blowout in this one. I thought it was going to be the Golden Eagles doing it, though. Being a sweet spot. Left side. Fisher it out. That was nice. That was a tough shot that he got. 
As soon as he turned around, he was ready to fire. Beats it to the right wing. Rhodes. Dishes to the left. Shoots the turnaround. Collected Come on, inside. guys, rebound. I mean, that was telling in the Bradley game where you saw the rebounds. They had like five times as many rebounds as we did. Oh, there's the frustrations coming out. They're getting frustrated out there, Southern Miss. Golden Eagles have had enough. That was not who I wanted to throw the ball to. I don't, um, I don't understand the controls. Is the game just doing like? Does this game just suck? I have ESPN 2K5. Like I'm holding the joystick here. I want to pass it to number 11. I'm gonna hold up and left. Well, now he moved. Okay. Well, whatever. Has it outside? I think I just need to do this every time. Left side. But it's so hard because, like, it's like one extra button press you got to do. That was nice. Oh, I don't get the bonus. I don't get the bonus point. So coming up next, we got Auburn coming to town, which could uh, be quite a situation for us, considering how we did against Alabama, considering how we've done here. The last three games have just been absolutely miserable for this squad. Conference play right around the corner. So, you know, you win, you make a big run in conference, you make a big conference tournament run. All fortunes can be changed just like that. Lead pass, perimeter. Boxler hands it off. And it's controlled by Mitten East State. The intercept. What great Bumble Ruski out there. And pick that one off easily. So anyhow, not a whole lot to say about this one. This just sucked. Team sucked. We lost by like 40 points. Absolutely awful. Auburn's up next. Do come on back to TV Sports. We'll see how we do against Auburn. See how we do against Florida State. I cannot believe we gave up 70 points to McNeese State. Maybe I'm just not a basketball person. I told you guys I haven't watched basketball in a couple of years. I've really fallen out of it since Steve Nash retired. He was a, I was a big Phoenix Suns fan with Steve Nash and in those teams and now the Suns are decent again but there was a big stretch there where Phoenix was just like I said it was it was LeBron and Steph Curry going to the finals every year and my son's finishing like 15th place in the west and it kind of like stopped being fun watching and maybe I just forgot how to play basketball don't know but Greg Gumbel is going to try to recap this disaster here. Coach Shaq has a lot of things to answer for because this was a miserable defeat. And we got Auburn and Florida State up next. Do come on back. See if we can pull it together. We'll be back at home playing the Auburn Tigers. And, I mean, Coach Shaq's still out there coaching. God bless him. But, yeah. We'll see you guys next time on TV Sports 27. Launches one from beyond the arc. That'll do it. The Cowboys blow out Southern Miss, 73 to 39. Let's quickly go to Greg Gumbel in the studio with the Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern, and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's Pontiac game-changing performance. Nothing gets into the head of an opponent more than a highlight reel jam. The McNeese State Cowboys had their way on the inside today, and this tremendous slam sums up their dominance. Get a load of this monster dunk. With intimidating moves to the hoop like this.
this one. It's no wonder the score was so one-sided. Thanks, Greg. For Bonnie Bernstein and Bill Raftery, I'm Vern Lundquist saying thanks for joining us for College Hoops on 2K Sports. <laughs>